You know, there's a lot of folks in barbecue that we get to thank, and anybody who has success in barbecue makes it all a success for us. I really appreciate, appreciate what they've done and brought to barbecue. Uh, I'd like to simply just take a moment and introduce Mike McLeod. Give him a round of applause. Come on up, Mike. Wow, thank you, uh, Michael McDearman and uh, Barrett. Wow, I could listen to you all night, buddy. My good friend Keith Anderson wanted me to send regrets, and I'm going to tell him it's okay. <laughs> well, you got it covered. <laughs> like uh, Mike just said earlier, this is, um, this is a big night for barbecue. It's been a big night for barbecue for about four years. And uh, this is one of, other than the eagle eye that I get from uh, Bob Fields when I'm up here, this is my favorite night of barbecue. That's what I'm talking right, about right there. <laughs> it's my honor and privilege to thank uh, numerous people. So I'm going to get started, and then I'm going to turn it over to Bob for a few comments. I want to thank um, the, the sponsors of tonight's party that make this possible for us to get together and, and eat and congregate and celebrate barbecue the way it should be. I'm going to start out with Tyson and uh, Karen Doan. Are you, there she is. Thank you, Karen. <clears throat> Part of uh, uh, the entire Tyson uh, team that we need to recognize. Bill Creighton, thank you so much for being here. How about Angie Christos? Are you here? To there. All right, great. Thank you so much for being here. Got to thank my good friend uh, Carl Carlson from Coke and Gold Peak for that uh, great uh, award. And of course, uh, uh, the, the people that brought us all together in the beginning, uh, KCBS, who's one of our, our sponsors tonight, too. I want to recognize, um, I, I always mess this up, so I'm just going to start calling her something else. It's the, I'm going to call her the fairy godmother of uh, barbecue. <laughs> Car Carolyn Wells, right here. <laughs> I want to recognize the fact that we have a couple of board members with us tonight. Um, it's always good for job security to do that. Um, Dennis Paulson, where are you? Dennis. And our president of KCBS, Mark Simmons, right here in front. And last but not least, um, uh, the biggest corn cob lover of all of us here tonight is Wayne Lohman, our esteemed uh, board director. One of the things that I started doing last year that I think needs to be a mainstay here, I want to recognize, uh, you know, this, this contest is so important, not only for barbecue, but for Sam's Club and its integrity and all of its partners that make the tour happen, that we can't take any chances. We, we got to make sure that everything is done absolutely the best that it can be done. And we couldn't do that if we didn't have master judges in the Kansas City Barbecue Society family. So I want to I want to ask the master judges that are here tonight to stand up real quick. Let's give these folks a hand. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm coming to him. I got special comments about him. Um, I also want to thank the, um, the people that are around me more than anyone, and when, when the going gets tough, they get tough, and that includes people like Mike Peters and Chris Peters, who are, Mike's also a board member, by the way. Where, where are the Peters, Mike and Chris? Are they here? There, there we are. Where's Chris? Oh, she's, go she's getting tough. <laughs> I want to thank, too, my, uh, my staff, Shauna Moore and Megan and Courtney and Laura. Where are you? I want you all to stand up and recognize, be recognized. I also want to thank, on behalf of Carolyn, I want to thank Karen Murphy, who's here. She does a 
ton of work. Then there are the people that make this tour happen day in and day out and travel this country. Something of like, oh, 14,000 miles were covered this year. And the people that were there making it happen, um, the gauges and the Lomans, we call them the low gauges. Uh, let's give them a round of applause. They're, they're always here making it happen. Mike and Teresa Lake, we couldn't do it without you. Chris Turner, where are you? This is the brawn and the brains. <laughs> And obviously, Michael McDiarmid. He has done a phenomenal job helping us with a tour of this show. Let's give him a round of a hand. Round of applause. We've got a couple of special guests here tonight that I want to recognize. Um, Tuffy Stone, are you in the house? We have a pit master. Tuffy Stone, come on in here. Act like one of us. <laughs> we know you hit the big time, but we also know where you started. Okay, good. <laughs> That's right. He never did leave. And tomorrow, Tuffy is going to be here tomorrow doing some special things with his new uh, pitmaster buddy, Mo Kaysen, right? So come out and, well, obviously you all are coming out. Um, <laughs> you're going to steal some secrets? Is that what you just said? Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to, before I turn it over to Bob, the thing that I know about Bob in, in the last four and a half years that I've gotten to know him is he likes stats. He likes big stats and he likes fast stats. So I'm going to give him a couple of things to chew on tonight. Uh, Bob, I want you to know that in the first 24 hours of registration, we've talked about this every year, we had 656 teams sign up for this tour in the first 24 hours. That is a 9% increase over last year. In that same time frame, um, we had 1,203 judges sign up for this tour. That is a 24% increase. If I were Bill Dietz, I'd be putting uh, bar charts and flip charts up here to show you all this. Um, our fan zone attendance was just shy. No, let me say this. It was more than 39,650 people that visited Sam's Clubs in our fan zone. We had 290 million impressions this year. And that's before we count the impressions of this weekend. So we hope Arkansas reads the media and watches the media this weekend. And we gave out more than 67,000 samples of food at 30 events. How about that? <laughs> Bob, what you may or may not know is that KCBS took on a special mission this year. We got approved and we are funding uh, and we are utilizing the entire barbecue network to create 100,000 charitable meals that we're going to give away through events throughout the nation. Right now we have 54 events that have signed up to help us do this. We're about halfway there and every one of them are buying their meats and their ribs from Sam's Club as a part of this process. <laughs> You need this, that? Okay. Do you, you want it in PowerPoint? Okay. A um, couple more things here real quick. We had 292 brand new teams participate in this year's uh, uh, tour. We had 49 out of 50 states represented. The only one we're missing is Hawaii, so I think you and I need to make a trip. <laughs> Do a little recruiting over there. You want to go? Mike's in too, so we're good. Just fire up the jet. We'll head out tomorrow. We have a returning champion that made it all the way to Bentonville again this year. Let's give it up for Tippy Canoe. Where are you, Tippy? Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. This really gets to the heart of the matter of how serious this competition is. Not only is he returning, but we have the, a former 
team of the year of KCBS that's here, Three Eyes Barbecue. Where are you? They're probably already back at the pit, trying to get a head start. I believe, I, I didn't double check this, I think it's correct though, I think we've got the current leaders in the team of the year in two categories that made it to Bentonville. I'm going to ask if, they, if they'll just raise their hand and verify this. Who's the leader in chicken right now? Can someone tell me that? Dirt Road Barbecue. Dirt Road Barbecue. Where are they? There we go, right in the corner. How about pork? Do we have the leader in the house of pork right here? Stand up. As if that wasn't enough competition, is Harry Sue in the house? I think Harry Sue's over here too, isn't he? I thought I spotted you. Let's give it a round of applause for Harry Sue, another pit master. And this is a shameless plug, but I think it's pretty relevant. We have three world food championships, champions here, uh, thanks to Tyson, Mr. Dave Elliott, our 2013 food, world food champion is in the house. We have the 2013 world burger champion, Wade Fortin, who made it here. Yeah. And we had a lucky guy from Salt Lake City, 2012 World Burger Champion, Jason Stuckey is in the house. Stand up, Jason. I learned Jason's secret to winning. He just tries to intimidate people. He walks up to them and shakes their hand off, right? Um, these guys are important to what we're doing too because they've all crossed over from other categories into barbecue and they were in barbecue and then crossed over to other categories in the World Food Championship. So I think it's, it just proves a point that the teams in the KCBS family and the industry of barbecue are the best in the business when it comes to food sport. So my hat's off to you. Um, I, I, I can't thank you enough for being here. I can't thank you enough for supporting the Sam's Club National Barbecue, Barbecue Tour. It is, I think, in my opinion, maybe yours too, the, the biggest thing that's happened to barbecue in the last five years. So I want you to help me give a warm welcome to Bob Fields as he comes up here. Wow, we're back here for another year. What do y'all think? <laughs> Mike, I want to thank your all's team. I mean, they've been fabulous over the last four years, and it gets better and better and better. And, and KCBS, appreciate you all so much. Um, as I look back four years ago, four and a half years ago, Carolyn, I think it was you and Mike and I, we were sitting at a, an event, and we were just sitting there drawing some ideas on a, on a napkin. And Olive Branch, Mississippi. Olive Branch, Mississippi is where we were. <laughs> and that's where this thing started, you know, four and a half years ago. So it's been really, really good for Sam's. I hope it's been as, as good for you all. Um, but a couple of things. The original idea behind this is, you know, Sam's is in business for small business. And how many of you all are small business owners? Okay. That's why we're here for you. Okay. So, you know. That was the original idea, concept. We know a lot of y'all are restaurant owners, and we know you, a lot of you are caterers, and we're in business for you. So we wanted to return a little bit back to you all, and that's why we're having this tour. At the same time, what we asked of you all is, can you help educate and teach people how to entertain and cook outdoors? And honestly, I think that's what the barbecue competition does. It teaches other individuals how to go out and entertain and cook and enjoy and have great food and have a good time. And I hate to say it, you know, there's a business reason behind that. You know, I sell more ribs and I sell more brisket when people cook and entertain outside. So I just want to really, really appreciate you all for that. And it's a huge opportunity. We're committed. Uh, we're committed to barbecue. Uh, a lot of people will say it's like the NASCAR, you know, event. There's so much competition in it. 
and uh, we're just going to continue to nurture that. So tomorrow we're going to give away $150,000. Is that okay with you all? And there's only one way we can do that, and we've got a lot of great sponsors, and you've seen them on the trucks over the last year and everything. And I just want to really call out a lot of thank yous to some of the sponsors. A couple of them, Bush is best. You in the room? The, the deal with the pictures, and, and if you haven't seen it, I mean, you can sit there and get a pictures with the dog, and all of a sudden you walk right next door, and they'll print you off a real nice 8 by 14 picture. I mean, that's something special, so that's kind of neat. Make sure you do that, you know, maybe at 7 o'clock in the morning or something before you're smoking. So, um, Cargill. Cargill, you're in the room. Kelly, thank you very much. Mike highlighted Coke. Coke uh, has been, inter you know, just perfect for us this past year. I really appreciate the additional $2,500 we got out of them. <laughs> Is anybody from Heinz in the house? Heinz? Okay. Hillshire Ballpark. They don't know what they're missing. We're going to have to work on that. Uh, Kingsford. Nope. Rob, where are you from National Pork Board? I thought Rob checked in. Oh, okay. He, he got sick? Ooh, we ate. Well, no. We, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I was with Rob on Wednesday and Thursday, and we had a, a barbecue boot camp on Wednesday, so maybe he did get a bad piece of chicken or something like that. <laughs> New Zealand lamb. Shane, I know you're here someplace. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, Kenny Shortsleeve was here from Tones. Is he in? Or I noticed he was out running tonight. So, and then Tyson, Bill, appreciate it very much. So this is the group that makes it happen. Okay, we, we provide the the location and everything. We provide, you know, the demo location. We provide the parking lot. But these sponsors are actually who makes it happen. And we really want to appreciate them. And Bill, we're going to have this next year? If you're in, we're in. OK. <laughs> so we're in. You heard him. I love putting him on the spot like that. <laughs> um, a couple of other thank yous I have. Judges, you know, the teams are here, and the teams have an opportunity um, to take a bunch of money home tomorrow. I mean, on average, I think the winning team for the last three years has probably taken home anywhere from fifty to seventy-five thousand uh, dollars, which is big money. But the group that really comes on their own dime, uh, the judges, we truly, truly appreciate you all. I mean, for someone to come and travel. Where's the farthest judge that we have? Is anybody from Washington here? New York? New York? Okay, you've got people traveling. New York? Anybody further than New York here? Upstate New York. Upstate New York at that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we truly appreciate you all coming and your all's dedication, uh, the master judges that we have. Uh, this is truly going to be a great, great competition tomorrow. A lot of excitement, a lot of experience. It's probably going to be one of the toughest competitions. You know, Mike and I were talking, you know, there's an, a lot of new young blood in this group, and you can tell everybody's hungry, and it's, it's, it's going to be a real battle tomorrow. But we've got the judges here to make sure that uh, we're going to give you fair judgment of your product, and we appreciate that. Um, Mike D. Thank you very much. You've done a tremendous job. Your leadership of the tour and everything has really helped us. Uh, and good luck on negotiations with Mike for next year. <laughs> Barrett, 
you went too cheap tonight? <laughs> no, you, you, you need to get some references. You need to get, work on Mike a little bit. He'll help you out there. And the last person I want to end it with, the person that, from our company that truly makes this entire thing work is Bill Dietz. Bill, stand up. Michael make fun of um, all of his bar graphs and his PowerPoints and everything like that, but, but quite honestly, I mean, Bill has become a connoisseur of barbecue, and he's actually out there barbecuing for people, you know, virtually every single weekend. But what's most important is Bill is the guy that puts the PowerPoints together, builds all the information together for us to take to our upper, upper level management to justify the spend on this and the way he creates information and gets the marketing efforts behind it and everything, he makes our job a whole lot easier justifying coming back next year. So if it's okay with you, we'll get in some competition tomorrow. We're gonna to give a lot of money away. And then when in January or February, we'll probably light the board up again. I put a challenge to you. I mean, I wanna go ahead and, and lock this thing up in 12 hours next year. Can we do that? Huh? Okay. So with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Mike. Mike, thank you very much. Twelve hours. Okay, we're going to have 18 servers working at the same time for that one. Uh, thank you, truly, Bob. On behalf of um, KCBS, Barbecue Nation, these teams, these judges, um, we, we just cannot thank you enough for your leadership. We cannot thank uh, your sponsors like Tyson enough in New Zealand and Cargill and General Mills and Coke. We just we feel like um, we feel like partners in this, and we know we need it to be good for you because you've been good to us. So um, we are going to do everything that we can to continue supporting not only Sam's Club but all of your partners along the way. And I think these teams are going to show their support and their love not only this weekend but throughout the year so thank you very much <laughs> last couple of notes I just want to make sure that that uh, that chicken that was eaten by the pork guy was not Tyson chicken it wasn't it was someone else's and I just do want to I do want to point out too how hard uh, Bill works Bill Dietz um, <laughs> Uh, Bill and I, <laughs> we've got a good relationship, and he's the only guy that I've ever been able to, ever seen that's been able to do this. He can pack about four sentences into the title of an email. I've never seen that done. <laughs> so so I, I love to see, receive an email from Bill because it's just all right there together, and then we just move, move on from there. So thank you, Bill, for, for all of your support and being concise like that. Um, Good luck, teams, tomorrow. And judges, I hope you get a great, uh, great bunch of entries. I know they're going to be because these are the best in the nation. Uh, they deserve uh, all kinds of accolades. And like the great Tony Stone once said, um, uh, don't forget how tough it is to, to be out there cooking in the elements. So uh, be good to these teams and uh, score it the way you see it and the way you taste it. So I, I can't wait to find out who wins. Thank you very much. I'm going to turn it back over to Michael McDermott to, uh, to finish it up and uh, get us out of here. Folks, good luck, and have a good night. <laughs> and that's it. Mike McLeod. Mike McLeod the marketing side of the Sam's Club Tour, as well as uh, KCBS, and then also the World Food Championship. Brett, needs no introduction. We enjoyed his toe tapping just a few minutes ago. We're going to enjoy him being all here for a few days. Thank you all for judging. What we're going to do is bring up the first protein. I'm going to start from this side. Mike's saying he's got a gift for the other guys. Those, that end of the table? Guys, I know y'all are uh, big deal in music. I'm kind of a big deal in barbecue. Uh, so I didn't want you to feel left out as we're eating all this great food. I, I brought y'all an I'm a kind of big deal rock brand uh, koozie for your water. 
So I, I just want to make sure it's a level playing field. And we have three really good judges here, okay? All right. All right. We've got some food big deals up here, Troy. Who did the uh, this beautiful presentation with the tray? Who, which team? Come on up, please. Give us a little insight as to your team and then your name and all that fun stuff. And then also share us, with us about the dish, please. Well, thank you for having us participate in this. It's an honor for us to be here um, among all such great folks. So we are, I'm Vince Carocci, Alexa Fairbairn, we're Rhythm EQ. We're from Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> and we are, uh, we were given the opportunity to present Swordfish. Now, before we tell you about the dish, a little bit about our team. We've been cooking since 2006. And a lot of people think barbecue is a man's business and the ladies assist. Folks, I can tell you, I'm standing next to one of the best barbecue cooks anywhere. She's dynamite. We are 50-50 on this team. And our team wouldn't have any of the success we'd have if it weren't for the two of us working together. So with that, I'm going to turn the microphone over and let the lady tell you about what we did. All right. Now, you know with a name like Karochi, it's got to be Italian. And healthy seafood is integral to the Mediterranean diet. So we thought we would pair this really robust swordfish with fabulous Mediterranean flavors. So it was laid on the grill, got you know color, color on each side of it. Then we packeted it with herbs and vegetables, ran it back in the grill in their individual papillons, brought them out, and plated them up for you. All right, awesome. It looks fantastic. Judges, if you'll take yourselves a serving. Got the head nod going, the mouth is chewing, a lot of smiles. I might be even hear some mmms coming on. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. We selected the rack of lamb, never cooked it before. It, uh, we cooked it to a medium rare, it turned out really good. We did a garlic on it. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Thanks for having us. Our crew barbecue, folks. Give it up for our crew barbecue. Very colorful presentation. Greens underneath, colored peppers around, red, yellow, and orange. Setting off the lamb. First, I'd like to thank Sam's Club for having us here. Um, we wouldn't be here without you guys, so thank you very much. My team name is Big Brothers Barbecue. Uh, I'm Matt Janos, and I cook with my brother Mark. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> uh, what we made for you guys today, we got a, a whole bone in, bone in pork loin. So we made some tomahawk chops, and then what we had left over, we made into a sausage and made a margarita pizza. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Oh, we're from Coopersville, Michigan. Michigan is quite known for the hot dog, but believe it or not, we can cook a piece of food. What a chop. For those that don't know about a margarita pizza, traditionally it's the first pizza ever made with uh, just simple mozzarella, tomatoes, and basil. I'm Denise Goodwin, half of the Pig Whispers from Village Village, Georgia. Woo! And today we made for you a tri-tip. We don't have very, do not have tri-tip in Georgia, so this is for Denise, California. We cook our tri-tip on the grill with peach wood. And we serve with it a sweet potato hash. Thank you very much. You know, it falls in the air. That sweet potato hash, wonderful seasonal accompaniment. My name is Mark Gibbs. I'm, I'm with the Checkered Flag 500 barbecue team from Plum Grove, PA. Um, so, and, and I, I come with my wife, Sharon. And my, my buddy John comes with me and he helps out and he's my right hand man and, he, and I couldn't have done it without him. And I got Paku fish. And who knew what a Paku fish was before today? Oh, there we go. I, we looked it up. 
and, and it is a cousin to a piranha. So the judges are going to get a chance to, to, to get some get even with the piranha family. We're going to eat them instead of them eating us. Yes. So what I, what I put together today, I was born and raised on the Chesapeake Bay. So what I did was did a little bit of a fish cake in a Maryland crab cake style with a little bit of Old Bay in it and fried them up with a little bit of tartar sauce on the side if you guys want to grab a little bit of that when you get the cakes. And I served them up in the form that they came, in the rib form, and they're actually cooked like we would almost cook a KCBS without putting them in the, in the wrapper. So uh, just cooked them on the grill, hit them with a little bit of sauce and a little bit of spice, and they're surprisingly good. So I hope it makes the judges happy. You're going with the, the tomahawk chop and pizza. Congratulations. Come on up. Give it up for them. They've got bragging rights for the Sizzler Showdown as well as a $250 gift card from Sam's Club. Come on up and get your wear. We'd love to congratulate you. What a fantastic entry. Judges, I'd love to hear what y'all thought about each entry and how you went through the process. Well, the, it came down between those two, and first of all, all five were e extremely well done. Flavor, the execution, uh, the taste, uh, presentation was fantastic on, on all five entries. The, uh, the tomahawk chop uh, won in the end against the, the Paku, uh, which uh, it was, it was, it, that was phenomenal because I, I've never tasted that. I'm sure you've never cooked that. So, and we were talking about how wonderful you did with it. But then at, at the end of the day, is the decision was made, uh, what would you order at a restaurant? I mean, which one of these, if you had all these flavors and all of these options, which one would you order again? And that's, I think, uh, made the final decision. Uh, repeat after me, robustly I might add, I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear to subjectively and objectively, subjectively and objectively evaluate each barbecue meat it is presented to my eyes, my nose, my hands, and my palate. I accept my duty to be a Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour Judge so that truth, justice, excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life May be strengthened and preserved forever.
I'm sorry. Because? Uh, the first one was a little um, spicy. The second one was a little overcooked, uh, but it was still very tasty and tender. Um, and number um, number five, I thought, was just perfect. Okay. The number two had uh, excellent flavor and uh, tender, uh, real good. The uh, third one uh, had a little salt taste to it and uh, quite a bit drier than the other, so that would be my least favorite. Um, my favorites were number three and number five. Uh, number three I thought was uh, very well cooked. Uh, the sauce was a good flavor, had a little bit of spice to it. Uh, number five um, was very moist, uh, had a fantastic bite to it. And um, my least favorite was probably number four. Uh, number four had just a little bit too much pepper. I got it, I got it, I got it, I think. I think I got it. Oh, come on. Mm. I can, fix, I can fix it. I can fix it. I got a whole bowl of it. I can fix it. Would you like to have a neck for your hands? No. I'd like to have these ribs in the box. Let's make sure the side of them don't have a great area. Look what you were looking at when I was behind the gray area. See, the first one uh, was my best favorite. There were a couple others that were uh, arguably as good. My uh, least favorite was this one. And uh, every one of them was, the taste was excellent, but the degree of doneness varied. And so uh, that, re that resounded in so far as how you rated Number three was my favorite. Um, it was done perfectly, and it had a nice uh, sweet flavor, but it wasn't overpowering. And number two is probably my least favorite. Um, it was, it had a, it had way too much sweetness to it, so you were tasting the, um, the honey rather than the meat itself. My favorite was number three. Uh, had no trouble at all tasting the meat, and then had a nice deep flavor to it. Um, least favored, I think, was uh, the fourth sample. Uh, the flavor was okay. Uh, it fell off the bone, and so I, that was my least favorite in terms of texture. Let's see. Flavor-wise, I like number one the best. It was just a one, one point being away from done. Overall, they were pretty well even on doneness, though. Number one being the least. Number four was my favorite overall, but they were all good entries. Number one was probably my favorite. Um, all five of my ribs were pretty well overdone. They all came off the bone. Uh, a couple of them were a little overdone and kind of mushy. Um, number three also had a fairly good taste. I would say at a contest like this, it's very hard to distinguish between the entries. They're all right up there at the top. Number one had, the, to my taste, at appearance and texture, the perfect combination. Uh, the others were close. I believe that uh, some of them were a little bit overcooked. It's very difficult uh, to monitor the external environment, the humidity factors, the heat factors. 
in cooking these ribs, but they all get uh, fairly close to perfection at contests like these. Great taste, uh, good flavor, is full of moisture, uh, good pork. Uh, the third one, uh, that was my least favorite. Um, the taste was off. Uh, the texture was just a little mushy, I thought. So uh, number three would be the worst. Uh, number four was uh, my favorite. Had great taste, tastes like pork, had good texture, uh, good pork. And the last one um, tasted a, uh, very salty. It had good texture, uh, had, had good taste, but it, uh, it was pretty salty for me. All in all, uh, good round of pork. The least favorite was number three. And that was a consensus among my fellow judges that I visited with. The medallion on one was my favorite, but the pulled was not. Uh, my favorite was five. Uh, I thought appearance and texture and taste. Um, I felt uh, the number three was my worst, and I felt the money muscle on one was real mushy. Uh, number two, 133, was real mushy, and number four. <laughs> just right and it had a good flavor to it and um, I thought the first one was a little bit overdone but otherwise the brisket was very good in my opinion number four was it in my opinion number four was the best on the plate uh, it was done perfectly uh, had just a tinge of extra salt on the uh, burnt end otherwise really good um, number one was well overdone. The rest of them were fair. They were all good. Number five was my favorite. I ate the whole thing. Number one, the tug wasn't right. wasn't cooked correct. Well, overall, I think all of it was real good. Only my number three I thought was a little bit salty. But overall, you can clearly see that they're all winners, and I know what they're doing here. So I was real pleased with all of my, my entries, to be honest. The uh, number one, very salty for me, slightly overcooked. Flavor just seemed to be off. And then both two and four I thought were perfect. 
three, maybe slightly overcooked, as thick as the uh, cook sliced it. And then five was good, maybe just slightly overcooked and pretty sweet, but overall good flavors. I thought number one was uh, salty and overcooked. I, to me, number two also tasted salty and a little bit overcooked. Three, I thought had a good flavor, had the right consistency. Number four, I thought it was pretty good, but a little bit on the dry side. But I kind of liked number five because I think it was cooked okay, but just a hair dry. But otherwise, it was pretty good overall. Hours of slave and labor, so I like it simple. This blew my ribs. I like it hard, kind of like gnawy and chewy kind of ribs, and a little piece of lime. That's my idea with the ribs. <laughs> okay, you come here. There you go. Well, I grew the book. Alright. I don't get big, you know. Right. Now, how many contacts have you been to? But this year, I, I'm really a slacker. I've done like about half a dozen. I usually do like 30 over, right? like all over the country. But this year, I'm slacking off. Well, you're yeah. basically, you know, in LA, yeah. Too many classes. I, I started teaching classes and I've been inundated with people who want to sign up for classes. And, uh, this year, I, I told myself, I try to you know, kind of spread more barbecue love and teach people how to do this stuff. Because I've, I've done enough of this, won a lot of awards. So, no need, no need for any more awards. I'm just having fun, traveling around the country. Yeah, absolutely. I can, I can tell you a lot of people have used barbecue to spread more love in this world. That's really what the world needs. On this list here, for 10th place overall, $1,000. Clark Crew Barbecue. Ninth place, a thousand dollars for ninth place. Smoking in the dark. Eighth place, one thousand dollars, goes to Smoking Aces at the Barbecue Superstore.com. Seventh place bumps up to two thousand dollars. Start your walk, Iowa Smoky D's. Sixth place for $3,000. Dirt Road Barbecue. Up to $4,000 for fifth place. I don't get to say that very often. Fifth place goes to Rhythm and Q. Six thousand dollars? Is that what you said, Teresa? I'm making sure my hearing's here. I'm working here. Fourth place, six thousand dollars. Shaking big barbecue. Woo! Third place. What's that check amount? Seven thousand dollars. Insane swine barbecue. Woo! Reserve Grand for $25,000. I'd like to turn the mic over to. 
I was going to say, you've already reached your limit, so you can't hand any more checks out. <laughs> this is a big deal, and, and we don't even know who won, and this is a really, really tight deal. Um, a lot of diversity here and everything, but we just want to appreciate. We're going to hand out 25000 and then we're going to hand out the 50000 Okay, you all ready? Yeah. What? We just handed out third place, correct? Just conferred with my rep. With a score of 700.5488, please come up and get your 700 pin Insane Swine Barbecue. Corporate charge won't handle that apparently, the $25,000 reserve grant. Reserve grant with a score of 701.0856. Getting basted! Bill, did you get them the 700 pin? Wonderful, thank you. It's been a long journey this year. 31 events in 32, 32 weeks. Bob's having a tough time lifting that check. It's all come to this, hadn't it? $50,000, thousands of miles, 700 teams. Your grand champion for the Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour the score of 703.9776. IBQ and at the barbecue superstore.com!